I wouldn't say I've been behind the scenes for, for a while because I've been more of an actor and a director but I just started writing plays um, because I I believe if you have a message uh, it's better you put it out there yourself rather than waiting for people to do that for you and well I work behind the scenes too I, I produce, I stage manage, I direct I also act, so body is always me okay. I I studied theater arts at the University of Lagos. First degree, second degree, and third degrees. Um well, I think that's always me okay. I'm married with two kids, two lovely kids. For now I think that's always me okay. I just want to say thank you to Okay, um Fool's Day. I wrote Fool's Day when I was in Berlin. Um, uh, it was uh, it was a conscious thought between uh, the relationship between parents that I've seen in Africa yeah, and what I saw abroad. And uh, I just saw that they, they had more uh, involvement in the lives of their kids. And I flashed back to when I was in Unilag too. My mom used to come to school way back then. She would bring food and stuff for me. And at the point I had to tell her to stop coming because other parents were not coming and I felt I'm not a small boy, you don't have to check. But she was actually doing the right thing, you know. Uh, most times parents just uh, they go to work, they come back, they make sure their kids have everything, food, clothes, whatever they want. But I just discovered that kids need more than that. And um, most times people get scared uh, eventually how their kids go to learn some things but you've left your kids to the outside to the gate man and other people like that so at a point uh, when I now saw some other part of family life in Berlin I just got inspired that day it was around 6 p.m. and I just put pen to, uh, to paper and I just go to my laptop and I started writing I didn't have the title in mind at first. Um, I decided to make it comedy because um, the situation of the country is terrible enough, so I felt people might not want to see tragedy. So I decided to make it comedy. And the title Fools Day came up, and uh, from some of the reviews I've got, I think uh, it's a play that uh, families need to watch together because of the kind of values and messages we have in the play. I just want to say thank you It's just the relationship between parents and I, I, I think we all have parents or we all have kids. So I wouldn't say Fool's Day is about me. It just I just got inspired based on family relationships that I saw in Berlin and the ones I've seen here. And the fact that I remember how my mom used to come to check me in school. And the fact that some parents don't even know their kids' schools. I think, I, I know some people might be saying that's a lie, but it's just the truth. Some people don't know the schools their children are till they graduate. And I don't think that's fair because at the end of the day, peer pressure and every other thing uh, come into play. And basically, if, if you're looking at the part of my life and the play, I'm not sure it's up to 10%. I'm just inspired by my society and and that's that's how we got Fool's Day. Yeah. I just want to say thank you to you. That's a difficult one. But, um, okay. Um, good. I would say good. Um, with my mom it was good or true. She never beat us at all. Uh, but I think with my dad it was a little bit complicated because um. I think I was a little bit stubborn, but it was it was very extremely hard on us until I, I I was 18. I think I, when I was 18, I had to tell him he had to stop. Well, not that I told him just like that, but I had to act it. And um, 
after a particular incident that I'm not sure I want to talk about. Um, <laughs> that was the last day actually, and um, that was the last time he beat any of us. He used to beat us like we were slaves, you know. I used to ask, this is my dad, uh, you know. But if I flash back, I think um, it has helped one way or the other. Although these days, I, I can't imagine anybody beating my kids. I don't beat them. I just talk to them. Because I, I don't think the beating has really helped. At the point I've, I, I would do something, I'll be like, that was they would beat me, you know? So, so I, I think it was okay, because we were brought up in a Christian home, so my parents thought it was the right path to go. But you know, kids would be kids. Um, basically, it was, it was good. It was good, just those little, little, you know, you know fathers and sons. I just want to say oh, thank you to you, bro. For every playwright, um, your joy is when people react constructively to your plays. And um, I got I got some messages after it was staged some time ago. Somebody actually sent a mail to the director of the play and said the play was exactly what was happening with Fabian. She had to go to her son's Facebook page to check, and that was when she discovered that her son actually hated her. You know, she sent in the message that things are going better now in her family and it was just because of that play. They all came as a family to see the play and the second person, the same thing, said it was, they, they didn't even know uh, the kind of people uh, their children were moving with and after seeing fools, they, they actually sent mails back and for me, that's, that's the height of uh, fulfillment. Money cannot buy that. And that, that was the intention for Fool's Day. It's a very special play for me. I've written a lot of plays, but Fool's Day is just special one because of the message. It's family, change your family, change your society. I just want to say thank you to you, Um, A lot, a lot, a lot, I, I must confess. Um, Like one of my friends would say, he's a writer to, uh, to their life, he says, um, if we are the kind of environment they have, we will do better. Because um, I was at I was at the park and then it just came and I left. There was light open, but I didn't have to put on the generator. Um, I I rode from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. I didn't stop. I just had yogurt by my side and I was just right 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So you have a conducive environment. The economy is not too bad. Um, you have materials at your beck and call. Your research is easier. But over here, we all know what we have to go through to get some of these things done. So, um, the truth of the matter is, it's easier a little bit when you are there to write. You get more inspiration. Here, we have to look for inspiration most times. I, I, I won't tell you what I've done to search for inspiration when I write some plays. Eh? I do some things I can't say, but I have to search for it. But over there, the inspiration will always come because of the kind of environment you are. But that's not to take away from us here. The truth of the matter is, uh, for us to do what we are doing with what we have, if we had what they have, we do a lot better. I just want to say thank you to you. Lagos shares and told to remind you that um, Fool's Day will be coming up on the 16th, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 30th of December at Ace Olivia Hall, Onikon, Lagos. Um, I'm sure you don't want to miss it, uh, especially because of what we've talked about. You, and you need to come with your family. Let's see what food they can do to make Nigeria a better place. I just want to say thank you to you.